Hello there, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Hannah. I do a lot of content revolving around lifestyle, fashion, and beauty that is all vegan and cruelty free. So I hope you'll stick around. Today I am taking you all wedding dress shopping with me. This has been a long time coming, so this footage was actually filmed some of it in 2019 and some of it in January of 2020, which is like insane to me. But um, I just haven't gotten around to editing it yet and I'm literally getting married in a few weeks. So <laughs> I'm like, maybe I should share this before the actual wedding happens and then no one cares about this process anymore. So I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I was never the girl that like grew up planning every detail of her wedding. Um, it was never something that I like dreamed about. I always thought it would be nice to have a wedding and I always thought that maybe one day I would get married and have a wedding. But as I got older, I started to feel like there were more important things that I wanted to do in life and I didn't know if it was necessarily a necessity, if that makes sense, especially after meeting the love of my life. Um, I don't, I, I think that even affirmed it even more that we didn't need a wedding because we were just so happy and secure with the way things were. We did not get engaged until 11 years after dating. So we definitely took our time with this and I'm glad we did because now we're kind of at a place where we feel really good about our decision. We feel good about how we're doing this wedding. We are doing a destination wedding in Mexico in the Yucatan Peninsula. And I will definitely be sharing way more information about that in the future. I cannot wait to fill you all in on everything. So right after we got engaged, we had kind of gone back and forth on whether or not we wanted to do a destination wedding with just a small group of friends and family, or if we wanted to do something local after looking at a bunch of different venues and kind of weighing out the pros and cons. We we decided on Mexico because we felt like it was a really happy medium. It was a destination, yet it's still part of North America. So it's not a super long travel destination and it's still close enough for um, a lot of people to go. So that's that, but I feel like it's important to mention that because of the mindset that I was in where we weren't even really sure if we were going to do the whole wedding thing. So wedding dress shopping was so low on my priority list and it was also something that I had never looked at. I literally had never looked at it. So if I have any advice for anybody, it's that if you think even a little bit you might want to have a wedding and you might want to wear a wedding dress, start looking at stuff now because there's so many options out there that when I first started this process, I was beyond overwhelmed and I really wished that I would have looked at things earlier because the wedding dress is one of the first things you need to get after you get engaged because it can take a while depending on if it's custom made or if you need alterations and things like that. So definitely get started on that. Start pinning some things to Pinterest, start bookmarking stuff on Instagram because I did, no I did none of that. I did none of that. And after having to postpone our wedding for a year and of course during that time I was bookmarking all the things because I knew we were having a wedding, my explore page is just flooded with amazing dresses. Whereas before I was like, where are the cute dresses? Like none of these weddings are my style. It took me a while to get into that algorithm where I saw the stuff that was my style. Start bookmarking. Because I had these feelings where I just kind of didn't really know what I wanted and didn't really care, I also didn't really want to spend a lot of money on a dress. I was shocked when I started to see how much wedding dresses cost and I couldn't, my little heart could not fathom. I paid for my own wedding dress so I did not want to spend $10,000 on a dress that I was going to wear for one night and then never wear again. I just, I couldn't, I, my, my brain still can't process that. Um, I totally understand that for some people that's super, super important, but for me, I would way rather put that money into the venue and the food and the drinks and the experience. So for me, it wasn't a priority. I know that's, I know that might sound shocking to some of you because you know I love fashion and I love, I, I, I do think I have expensive taste, but uh, yeah, that was one thing where I was like, mm, nope, uh, gotta, gotta stay in budget. I was looking in the $2,000 range, like that was, about where I wanted to hit between two and three thousand. So I started out by reaching out to this PR company that's in LA that I was getting a lot of emails from. They have a lot of wedding dress clients and I was like maybe I'll just go there first and just like try some stuff on and just see how it goes. So I rounded up quite a few of my friends and my future sister-in-law and we all went to this PR firm together to try on dresses and 
I have to say that I made a mistake doing this because it didn't matter how pretty the dresses were, there was no experience involved. It was literally, I was just like in their downstairs trying on dresses in their bathroom with my friend helping me zip them up and there was no like, I don't know, there was no, there wasn't even really a great mirror situation. It was just not ideal. So I regret doing that, but I will show you the few dresses that I tried on there. And I wanna include my thoughts before going wedding dress shopping. So here we go. So today I'm going to kind of start the wedding dress hunt. Um, I have not yet like gone to any bridal places or anything like that and I really honestly have no idea what I even want in a dress. I kind of feel like I want something that has like a little bit of a train because I love how that looks in pictures and I love how it looks walking down the aisle and then I definitely don't think that I want anything super form-fitting because that's just never been a flattering style on my body shape. So I usually go for something that like hits right here. Like this is like where high-waisted jeans hit. That's like the sweet spot for me because it gives the illusion that I have hips. So probably something like that. And then, yeah, that's like pretty much all the thoughts that I have about it. I kind of, from everything that I've heard from people, you have to try it on to know because a lot of people have this like idea of what they want in a dress and then they go try dresses on and then it's like complete opposite of what they thought they wanted. So I'm keeping an open mind. Okay, so I really liked the top of this dress. I thought it was really nice and flattering. Um, I don't know if it was just because I couldn't really like see myself in it or because it didn't really fit properly, but it was hard for me to get an idea of what this dress was going to look like. I had just kind of neutral feelings about it. Like I thought it was pretty, but it didn't it didn't wow me in the way that I wanted it to. It also was like definitely a sample, so it was a little like messed up in the back and things like that. But as I said, this was the silhouette that I really wanted was something fitted at top and then kind of went out at the bottom. Okay, this one I did not like at all. I didn't like the color. I didn't like the crystals or the sequins or anything like that. Um, it was a similar silhouette to the other one, but it just wasn't doing it for me. It especially didn't do it for me with the venue. The whole time I was dress shopping, I had the venue in mind. And that's another thing I'll recommend is don't go dress shopping until you book your venue because it had such a huge effect on why I picked the dress that I did. So yeah, so that one was a no. This one I had seen on the website in all white and I loved it in all white and the one they had in store was nude so I just kind of felt like eh, it wasn't exactly what I had pictured but I still really loved the lace on this one and we had talked about maybe getting it altered so that it would be off the shoulder and I still to this day think that would be really really pretty um, off the shoulder with still like the kind of V neckline I love that look so much and I think that if this would have been all white I would have probably liked it a little bit more. It still didn't really feel like it was the perfect one but it was definitely getting closer to what I wanted especially because I could picture this one in the venue more than I could the other two. Because I'm 5'3", it seemed to be like a lot of fabric on my frame. I, I, I was starting to feel like hmm, maybe I don't want this but I wasn't ruling it out just yet. Then I tried on this one and I immediately knew, absolutely not. Um, it's hard to tell on camera, but there's little sequins all over it and the flowers almost look like, kind of like Hawaiian flowers. I don't know, it was just not my style whatsoever. I think the silhouette is nice, um, but I, I don't like the ruffles at the end. I don't know, it, it was just pretty much a no off the bat. I, yeah. And that was all that I tried on at the PR firm. So we were kind of feeling a little defeated after that. I mean, I, I was especially feeling defeated because none of them gave me that feeling that I was hoping to get when I tried on a wedding dress. None of them made me feel like a bride. None of them really made me feel like, you know, oh yeah, like I wanna wear this dress. I was really, really hopeful that I would like one of those dresses, but I just feel like they all missed a little bit. So one of my friends suggested that we go to Beholden because there's a Beholden literally down the street. So somebody called, booked an appointment for that afternoon, and then we all headed over to Beholden, and that was such 
a fun experience. I highly, highly recommend it. I think that that should be every bride's first stop, to be honest, because this was really where I learned what silhouettes were looking good on me and what I felt good in and it helped me get on the right track. So I highly recommend that being your first stop. Also the customer service there is amazing. They popped champagne for my girls and they got to like sit on these comfy couches. It was just really, it was, it was just a really nice experience and I definitely loved that. So the first dress I tried on, I really instantly liked a lot. Um, I liked that it looked a little bit like like a nightgown, I don't know if that's how to explain it, but it, it was the first dress that I tried on where I was like, oh yeah, I could definitely 1000% see this in my venue. It's really pretty, I feel good in it, I think it's flattering, it's not too much, it's not too little. They're not gonna have all of the dresses in your size, so some of them were too big, some of them were too small, so that one in particular was a little bit too big, so you kinda have to use your imagination on like what it would look like once it's altered to you. The next dress I tried on, I liked so much better on on me than I did on the hanger. So that's one thing people always say is the dress looks different on the model and it looks different on the hanger and then it looks different on you. It's so true, you have to try them on. But I thought this was so flattering and I really liked the lace. I liked how big the lace was. That was something that I kept finding myself drawn to. And I think that this dress was where I kind of realized that I liked the form-fitting silhouette because a lot of the dresses I tried on after this were not. So this one I really, really liked. Um, this also, I think, kind of planted that seed that I may want form-fitting instead. So I really liked the shape of this. I loved the back of it. It has really pretty straps. I liked the neckline and it was just really flattering and pretty. And I liked how simple it was. I could see it in my venue, but it wasn't exactly what I had pictured, so I don't know, it was one of those that I, I feel like I had to like kind of think about, but ended up obviously not being the one, even though I really loved the back and the shape of it. This one was a two piece and I liked this one on the hanger a lot and then once I got it on, I thought, mm, I don't think it's the vibe really. I liked the off the shoulder because that's kind of what I had started to picture, but the skirt felt like just a lot of fabric in addition to the top, it was just, I don't know. I did like the mix of the lace with no lace. I thought that was nice as well, but in the end, it wasn't exactly what I had pictured. I did like how long the train was. This one was really nice. I loved the texture of this one. It also had pockets, which I thought was super cute. It had like some extra fabric on the back, which you could either do a bow with, you could let it hang, or you could do something creative with it in the front. Um, I thought that was really cool as well, and I really liked how it fit. I liked that the texture was super subtle, so from far away you can't even really tell that it's a textured dress, but up close you can, and I loved how thin the straps were. I think that's such a flattering and really pretty look. So this one's pretty similar to the last one. It's just a more satin material, and I loved the waist had like some pleating happening that made it poof out really nice, so it made your waist look really small. The back was really pretty. It had like a nice deep V. It had a really pretty train. And then the straps, again, I really like how thin they are. Um, this one, I think the color was a little bit too, it's hard to tell in video, but in person, the color was a little more yellow. And I just feel like I had pictured something a little bit more white. This one is very similar to the other ones. It's just a lighter fabric. The material on those previous ones was, was so heavy. And even though I really, really loved those dresses, I feel like they would have been better suited for an indoor wedding or a wedding where it was gonna be more cool. We're getting married somewhere tropical, so it was nice to try on a dress that was a little bit more lightweight. This felt like it would be a little bit more realistic. Um, this one was a little bit too big, so the neckline would actually hit a lot lower than it does on me now. I really liked the shape and I liked the train. It was really pretty, but just not, it was not the one. This one I really, really, really loved. Um, the neckline is so flattering, so beautiful. It had pockets, it had the same kind of cinched waist where it flares out. And the back is by far one of my favorite parts. Um, I think it's so unique. It's like modern, but yet different. Um, unlike any of the other dresses I had tried on, it has like the mesh lining on the sides. And this one also had a really nice train and a really full skirt. 
This was a little bit of a heavier material though, so again, it was kind of something I was concerned about being too hot in, um, but I really, really loved the back of this dress and the front of it. This dress is so pretty. I still really love this dress a lot. So I had a feeling that the first one was gonna be my favorite, so we tried that one back on with the veil. I will show you my reaction. I love it. Why do I feel like I'm gonna cry? Oh, that is really weird. I just picture you and your little cheery uniform. <laughs> Stop. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, I feel yeah. like this is the one. So I don't know if it was the veil that got me emotional. She started talking about my future husband, and I think that also got me emotional, but it was just like instant tears. I also really liked the dress. I felt really pretty in it, and um, I still really like the dress. I think it's it's beautiful, but I ended up leaving thinking that I was for sure gonna get that dress. I went home, I thought about it, I looked at some more dresses online, and I, I was just like, you know, it's just, it's missing something that dress didn't have like the moment i really wanted like a wow factor and i just feel like it while it was so pretty and so elegant and dainty it just didn't have that wow moment that i was wanting so what i did was i went on a bunch of bridal websites and i just started opening tabs of every dress that i thought i might like and this was where going to Beholden was so helpful because I was able to realize from going to Beholden that I actually really did like the way that the fitted dresses looked on me. I was shocked by that. So I knew I wanted to try on more fitted dresses to see if that was going to be the direction I wanted to go to or if I wanted to try some other fuller skirt options on to see if maybe there was one that was going to be more of what I pictured at the venue because all of the fuller skirt options I tried on looked like they needed to be in like Paris or in, you know, like I said, like in an indoor wedding, something like that. So I went home, I opened a bunch of tabs up and I realized that all of the tabs I had opened up were from one designer. And I was like, okay, this is a sign. Obviously I'm really into this designer. So I, slid into their DMs. I was like, hey, I really like your style. I really love your dresses. I think that I might find my wedding dress with you all. So is there a place I can go where I can try all of them on? And they were like, you know what? You're local, come on down to our office. So they invited me to their office and I got to try them on, which was so, so nice of them. It was such a treat. So I got to meet the designers, Tara and Shayna. They're actually sisters and they grew up in their mom's bridal shop and their mom owned a bridal shop and so they like grew up you know going to work with her and seeing what she did and fell in love with the bridal world so they started designing wedding dresses and i just think it's such a cool story and they are both so so lovely and so nice and clearly so so very talented because i'm obsessed with every single one of their dresses they've come out with like two collections since then and I'm just like oh like why I want all the dresses they're so beautiful so this footage is filmed on an iPhone so it's not the best quality but I was in such a fluster that I left my vlog camera at home so it's the best that we can do so the first dress I tried on was my dress so I'll insert the audio even though it's not super impressive because I think because it was the first one, we were just kind of like, oh, this is pretty, moving on. That's so <gasps> wow, pretty. Wow, that is so pretty. Oh, I love it. I love this one. This one I really liked. I feel like it had a lot of the elements that I really liked from the other dresses. It had the lace, it had the fuller skirt, it had a slit, which was so cute, um, and I felt like was gonna offer some more airiness, but the skirt was still very full and glamorous. Really, really liked this one. And then this one, again, I feel like it had a lot of the elements I liked from some of the other dresses. It had the low neckline and the low back, which I thought was so pretty, and I loved the lace on this. It just didn't feel like it was meant to be in my venue, but I think this dress is so pretty, and like, it's very, like garden-esque and I could just see it in such a pretty wedding with the right decor and everything. Ugh. But again, it just didn't feel like the one. I love, 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 love this dress. 
but it didn't feel like me but it's so beautiful i love how classic it is the lines on it are just so beautiful so yeah i really love this dress it just I think it would look so beautiful on so many people. It just didn't feel like it was the one. Then we added this skirt, which really took things to the next level. I was like, okay, now we're talking my language because it took the classic element that I liked and added something a little more dramatic, which like I said, I want, you know, a little bit of a wow moment. So I really, really liked that. And then we took it up another notch with the sleeves. I couldn't even handle, I loved this so much. It's literally three different looks in one. You can take the sleeves off, you can take the skirt off, you can have one for the ceremony, you can have one for the reception. I just loved it so, so much. Um, this definitely became a top favorite of mine. This one was not the vibe I was looking for, but I am, absolutely head over heels in love with this dress i love it so so much please please one of y'all get this and wear it as your wedding dress because oh if i was getting married somewhere that wasn't the jungle in one of the hottest months of the year then i would 100 percent be wearing this dress i love it so so much it's so unique it's so beautiful it's so flattering oh i just i can't get over it this one really really made it hard for me um so so pretty so I obviously didn't get it, but I really did fantasize about having it as a second look. It was just going to be way too hot to wear with the sleeves, but oh, I just seriously love this dress so much. And then we tried on my dress again, so I will include the audio so you can hear how we came to that decision. It's, yeah, Hannah. I know. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this is the first one I saw, too. This is the first dress where I was like, it, what's this yeah. designer? This is so I need you. to know more. Oh, this is so you. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like magic on you. Yeah. Oh my god. Hannah. Done. <laughs> Done. So again, I went home. I took the night to sleep on it even though I was pretty 100% sure after I left, like the second I left, that that was gonna be my dress. It just hit all the boxes that I was looking for. I could see it in the venue so perfectly. It just looked like it came out of the venue. I don't know how to explain it really. I don't think I could have dreamed up a more perfect dress, so I went home, I thought about it. I debated between that one and I really liked the three-piece one. That was another one where I was like, mm, I don't know, I love, I love the drama of that one. <laughs> it's so pretty. Um, and I still think it would be so much fun. But again, it's so hot where I'm getting married. I just, I thought realistically, that much fabric, that many layers, I'm, I might be miserable. So, and something was just calling me to this other dress. And as you heard, everybody agreed that that was the dress. I can't wait to show you all it. Um, there will definitely be a wedding video on this channel soon and if you're not following me on Instagram definitely follow me over there. I will be sharing everything on there first I'm sure. It's just so much easier to throw up stories and pictures and things like that and I'm going to be traveling through Mexico so definitely follow my stories for that because I'm sure I will be overloading everybody with all of the Mexico content. So I should probably round out the video with some tips so that this is helpful for some of you. I would say, like I said earlier, start following wedding dress accounts that you like, start bookmarking wedding dresses that you like so that you can get in the algorithm and get more recommendations. There are so, so many options out there, high end and low end. Another thing that I was getting a lot of questions about is finding a vegan wedding dress. And I initially wasn't even really paying attention to that. I'm gonna be completely honest because like I said, I was kind of just in the mindset of like, let me just go try on some dresses and see what I like. I knew the dresses I was trying on at the PR firm were not silk, but the dresses that I was trying on at Beholden, some of them may have been silk, some of them may have not, I'm not sure. But I was mostly trying on dresses there just to figure out what shape I liked and what style I liked, and it was so, so helpful for that. So 
I, I mean, if you're somebody who feels like if you fell in love with a silk dress, you would need to buy it, then I wouldn't recommend doing that. But I knew I wasn't going to buy a silk dress. So I knew for me, it was like, I'll just try on what I like and then figure out, you know, I'll find the vegan option if I fall in love with something or I'll have it made to be vegan. What I learned in the process is that a lot of dresses are made to order. It's not like they have just like hundreds of wedding dresses just sitting there taking up space. They actually wait until they get an order in and then they make your wedding dress. So the dress that I ended up going with is vegan. I think that because I was looking in the two to three thousand dollar price range, a lot of the dresses were accidentally vegan or just maybe vegan because those materials are more affordable. I'm not exactly sure. I do know that because they're made to order, if a dress has something like a silk lining, you can request to have it switched out for a satin lining and a lot of dress designers will do that for you. But like I said, if you're looking in that price range, you're pretty much gonna find something that's vegan. Another alternative, if you want a dress that's not vegan, but you don't want to contribute to that, is you could buy a used dress. I know a lot of vegan brides who have done that. There's some great websites like Still White where you can search for used wedding dresses. You're not financially contributing to the harm of animals. Um, that's just my personal opinion on it though. If you feel differently, totally get it. That is that for my wedding dress shopping. Let me know in the comments what style you think I went with. I'd be very interested to hear what you guys think. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I will see you very soon in another video. Bye.